What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman, AKA All Fires. As if it's not exciting enough that we're about to start the three-part finale for X-Men 97, we got a ton of new Deadpool promos today, including two brand new scenes. Now we've collected all of them. We're gonna go over them quickly. We're also gonna talk about the updates for what's going on with the reshoots for Deadpool. They started a lot earlier. But then we're gonna wrap up with what's going on with the latest updates for these crazy post credit scenes that everyone's been talking about for a while. We have a couple of new details on what's going on with them. We're breaking it all down, the latest official promo and new post credit scene details for the upcoming Deadpool and Wolverine. But first, I wanna tell you about the spot Sponsor of today's video, I've partnered with MyHeritage. Everybody's family has a story to tell, and with MyHeritage, they are the number one family history service website in the world. They make it extremely fun and easy to build your own family tree, discover your origins, and maybe uncover a new relative or two. And look, even if you don't know much about your family's origins, MyHeritage can actually help you uncover those details and find new family members and ancestors of your records with relative ease. And so what was really cool was talking to my grandfather who had immigrated from Italy and thought the records were lost for our previous family, but we were able to find out and through some of the remaining records at MyHeritage that my great great grandfather on his side lived sometime in the 1800s in Italy and even married my great-grandmother Maria from Naples. And that's a really cool thing about my heritage is that it brings over 19 billion records to your fingertips. They also have this amazing feature called instant discoveries that can basically connect you and uncover an entire part of your family tree with one click of a button. Another amazing feature is their ability to restore and even animate old photos where I took this picture of my mom and my two grandmothers from the 90s that I'm pretty sure was behind a piece of plastic in an old album and look how much of the color it was actually able to restore again from this almost 40 year old photo incredible and i cannot stress enough what a bonding experience it was to talk to my grandparents about their parents or as much as they could remember again with the records having been lost at this point into the ages so go ahead and sign up today for a 14-day free trial and enjoy all the features my heritage has to offer again go ahead use the link down below or in the box follow it over to my heritage sign up for a 14-day free trial and start your journey of discovering your origins today Okay, so we're going to start with the two brand new scenes that were revealed. This still shot of Deadpool and Wolverine and what we're still calling the void. And then this next shot of Dogpool running through a field. Now, apparently both of these shots, according to certain industry insiders, are actually from the third trailer. But don't expect that anytime soon. We just got the second trailer. These are more like HD stills and promotional images for the film, alongside a ton of other promo art. Specifically this one that gave us our first HD look at Kid pool alongside baby pool and head pool which will be part of the deadpool core and even though they've hid them in the trailer pretty well in the first trailer we're pretty sure we got a glimpse of lady deadpool who will be on that team and i also want to point out that in the second trailer when we get this shot of wolverine and deadpool walking out from the side and with as much room is on either side of them in the next couple of frames it really makes me wonder if there aren't a bunch of characters omitted here just like they did in spider-man no way home a bunch of deadpool variants on either side and the only reason I point that out is that we actually get a quick shot of Dogpool licking Deadpool's face in what seems like the same city setting and again there's so much room on either side of the frame it just makes me feel like the Deadpool core might be a part of whatever this scene is. Now speaking of whatever this scene is, I'm going to be using some of the behind the scenes footage and leaks to break down certain scenes going forward in videos here at the channel and I'm going to issue the same spoiler warning in them that I'm going to issue right now as we venture to talk about the post credit scenes. If you've missed the buzz somehow recently on social media or our last video covering this topic, apparently the post credit scenes for Deadpool and Wolverine are so mind blowing that the scoopers don't want to scoop it. Basically, no one wants to be the first to ruin whatever this huge surprise is. That being said, we've had a couple of developments. I'm going to talk about what those details are. If you do not want to know any of this stuff, if you're susceptible to that kind of thing and it's going to ruin your Deadpool and Wolverine experience, I am not mad at you. Now is the time to back out. But it is said of at least one of the two post credit scenes that we will start to see the multiverse break apart and that it's a direct lead in to Avengers Secret Wars, not even Avengers 5. Now, let's be real. That is not the scene that everyone is referring to is so mind blowing that they can't spill any of the details that must be the second of the two post credit scenes that are rumored for the film now again this has made so much buzz because it originally started with my time to shine hello's tweet that said it was so mind-blowing they weren't going to ruin it I can't believe marvel 
pulled off filming it without anyone knowing, to which Rob Liefeld, the creator of Deadpool, actually retweeted, they're not lying. Now, specifically, some people focused on the fact that My Time to Shine Hello said that they can't believe they filmed this without anybody knowing it. I even heard Eric Foss point out that if Robert Downey Jr. or someone who's super busy would happen to be by the set in London or Atlanta, that it might not make the same kind of news as Tobey Maguire. And we had heard about six months to a year ago that something to do with pizza time was involved with Deadpool and Wolverine, leading a lot of people to speculate, myself included, that the short list of mind-blowing cameos that could show up in a post credit scene were basically Robert Robert Downey Jr.'s Tony Stark, Chris Evans' Steve Rogers, Tobey Maguire or Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man, and maybe the OG Avengers, but really when it comes to being so sacred that the scoopers don't even want to scoop the cameos or the story, that really only meant one thing to me, and I said it during that video, Robert Downey Jr.'s Tony Stark or maybe Chris Evans' Steve Rogers, maybe not even Tobey Maguire, again, because we've already seen him back in the MCU with his big moment in Spider-Man No Way Home. Well, we actually have an update about this, and coming from industry insider Alex Perez over at the Cosmic Circus, on Twitter when talking about who is and isn't in this film cameo style, specifically said that Tobey Maguire is not in the film. No cameos. So this huge post credit scene that no one wants to spoil is not Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man, which means to me, and most likely, it has got to be Iron Man or Steve Rogers, Captain America. I don't know which, and I don't know under what context, but again, as far as being so sacred that they can't scoop it, it really only could be one of those two things. But you guys let me know all your thoughts down below, as always. How hype are you for Deadpool and Wolverine and... Listen, as far as spoilers go going forward, it's already been said that the trades know this. It's pretty much common knowledge, whatever this post credit scene is, which guys, let's face it, means it's going to get out there. I kind of respect everybody at this point for not spoiling it so far, but we still have quite a bit of time before the film comes out in July. And if it really is as common knowledge as the industry insiders are saying it is, it's going to get out there. We're going to find out. And I will not be the first one to spoil it, but you better believe once it's all over social media and starts making its way around the trades, we'll definitely break it down in full here at the channel. You guys let me know all your thoughts down below. And I want to remind you guys about the partner on today's video, My Heritage. Go ahead and use the link down in the description, pinned in the comments, or right here in the QR code, and sign up for a 14-day free trial. Experience everything My Heritage has to offer. Again, click the link, get a 14-day free trial, and start your journey to learning about your origins today.